Hi everyone, happy Friday. I hope you're all having a great afternoon. I hope this week has been a great week for you. I do apologize for not getting yesterday's video up. My energy was just, it plummeted. I got home and I was home for like half an hour. I laid down next to my cat and then that was it for hours. And then by the time I woke up, I just, it was too late and I just feel didn't feel the energy. I just didn't have it in me to give a reading. But that is yesterday's problem and I am back today for another daily reading and if you are interested in learning what other stuff that I do and what other things that might have been exhausting me, go ahead and check out the links in the description so that you can learn more about Maiden Circle and check out the blog. There was a new entry that went up I think last week so go ahead and check that out and I'm going to get started. I'm going to ask for your overall energy for this day. What is the overall energy for this Friday, August 31st? for whoever this reading is meant for. Please and thank you. And I'd like to thank everyone who has been joining these videos and everyone who checked in yesterday and everyone who is enjoying these readings. And thank you, of course, always to the beings that watch over us and that guide us and that help us share these messages with one another. So what is your overall energy today? You have... Beyond the mind, the heart beats. So you might notice that this is the same picture as the back of the card. So this is kind of a powerful card. I like to think of it as the energy that is underlying all the rest of the readings, all the rest of the cards, because it is um, on the back of every single card that we pull. So the actual message of this card is, of course, to listen to your heart. Beyond that, it is saying that you, you might be in a position where you are overthinking situations or where you've made plans, you've made goals, you've tried to come up with strategies, and they just didn't play out the way that you wanted them to. And it's possible that, you know, your heart is trying to tell you why that is and trying to tell you that maybe even though you've planned all of this stuff that you're not as connected to it and you're not necessarily going about it the right way and if you would just take some time to quiet down and to listen to what's truly inside of you to feel to um, respond to things from feeling instead of from a thinking point and just allow yourself to feel your way around the situation, allow your emotions to kind of take the lead here, that's going to guide you to a brighter outcome. That's going to guide you to the truth that is that belongs to you as opposed to the truth that you're trying to, to force into being. You can't necessarily plan for everything that's going to happen. You can't necessarily be prepared for the future and for, for just just everything that's going to happen and this card is telling you that that's okay to allow yourself to just accept things as they go to allow yourself to be open to the moment open to living in the now open to to receiving whatever it is that's being brought to you without trying to foresee the outcome without trying to guide things your way you might feel like you're stumbling you might feel like if you're not trying to guide things a certain way, then you're just floating along and you're feeling a bit lost in that. You're feeling a bit confused. You're feeling, you're having trouble even making these plans. You're having trouble strategizing. And this is telling you that that's okay. It's time for you to relax and allow your heart to, to guide you and to take the reins here. If you can act in love and you can respond in love and allow your emotions to really be a part of your decision making and allow, allow the things that are underneath your heart when you've gone past overthinking, when you allow those those aspects of yourself to to be on top for a little bit, especially today, you're going to find your path is actually a lot more laid out for you than you thought, than you initially were, were seeing. So let's see what your aspirational energy is. This is the energy that's going to kind of guide us and guide the rest of this reading. It allows us to know 
or see our ideal outcome if we are able to overcome our challenges today. And it kind of helps us to also know where you are emotionally today, like where you're standing throughout this day. Okay, so this is the energy that's going to kind of guide this reading, guide us something for us to aspire to for this day. You have the Page of Pentacles. So you've been preparing for something, you've been practicing for something, and with this card that could be that you've been practicing just listening to your heart and listening to your intuition, whatever it is, you've been getting better at it and you've been feeling good about this work that you've been doing. And now you're probably in the, at a point where you're, you want to up your game, you want to improve even more. This card is telling you that it is a good time for you to do that. And maybe that's what that shift is from head to heart is shifting from using just your mental faculties to create something and moving towards towards your emotional faculties towards towards deeper intuition towards deeper um just deeper experiences that allow you to create more of whatever it is you've already been working on okay you're ready to move on to the next step for whatever it is this is telling you to make sure that you're not becoming careless make sure that you are you're you're still putting in as much effort even as you get better at something even as you improve there's still more improvement for you and it's very easy to say you know what i did great i've been getting better i'm going to take a break and then instead of just a normal break you end up slacking off for longer and longer and longer or coasting where you are instead of improving so this card is telling you to continue trying to improve but also allow yourself to acknowledge the steps that you've already taken acknowledge the work you've already done because you have made some strides in your life and you've you have um gotten to a point of of being competent at something you're not an expert yet not a master yet but you are competent here in this area whatever this is about for you whatever this speaks to for you so let's see what your challenge is on the so let's see what your challenge is on the physical level this is concerning your projects your body your relationships uh work how you deal and experience the challenges, deal with and experience these challenges. Anything that's affecting you and challenging you on the physical, earthly realm. You have the Hierophant. You might be kind of stuck in the past. With the hierophant here, or at least um, the your methods are kind of stuck in the path past. You're again, you're kind of in a place where you're overthinking a lot, and where you need nurture, you are not giving it to yourself. You might be having trouble making decisions, accepting that you are capable of making these decisions. You know, like if something comes up and you are telling yourself. I'm going to make this decision, but then you're also telling yourself, I'm not capable, or I'm not wise enough, or I need someone else's help, I need someone else's guidance, I need someone else's advice, because I don't trust myself to be able to make these choices. And you're at this point where you're just, you're feeling a little bit disconnected from your own intelligence, disconnected from your own capabilities and your own wisdom. And this is based on something from your past, something that you did before or something that someone else did that you would like to emulate. And you'd like to just keep doing things the way other people did it because it was already done. And that means you don't have to work for it. You don't have to think about it. You just have to repeat the process. But unfortunately, repeating the process is what's holding you back here. Since this is in your challenge position, then those outdated modes of behavior those outdated actions are not going to work for you anymore all right you are denying a part of you that really needs to be taken care of and really needs some nurture because you're holding on to these these old behaviors so let's see how you can overcome this particular challenge today how can you overcome this adherence to to old ways in 
old methods that don't serve you. You have the King of Cups. Hmm. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, this is about balancing. This is about balancing your heart and your mind. This is about balancing on the physical level. With the King of Cups, it's telling you to really focus on your emotional control, focus on your emotional strength, and also focus on offering kindness. One of the meanings of the Hierophant is a person who gives kindness, generally like an elder man, um, someone who is just kind and gentle and allows themselves to be open and vulnerable, but in a way that is healing and healthy and since that's in your challenged position your best way to overcome that is to allow that kindness to come through it is to allow that emotional vulnerability to come through and allow yourself to remain balanced in that with the queen of pentacles and allow yourself to remain grounded okay take the time to ground your energies so that you're not your emotions aren't just running everywhere Okay, take the time to nourish yourself. Take the time to allow your your emotions to mature to the point that, like I said, they're not taking over, but they are guiding you and they are um, guiding you in kindness, okay? Don't allow yourself, don't um, get cocky, okay? Don't, don't brag about things. Really take the time to try to mature your emotions and, and the way you look at things and allow this emotional care that you've been denying to yourself and allow it to change you okay because again you're holding on to some old behaviors that have not been serving you and you need you need to 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 let your emotions guide you you need to let them guide your behavior let them change you let them move you forward so take the time to offer that that kindness, offer that love that the Queen of Cups brings to you. Offer it in a mature way. Don't try to force it on anybody. Take care of the people that you love. All right, reach out and take care of people. And again, like I said, there was a part of you that you weren't giving that nature, that nurture to that you deserve. And this is the time to give that to yourself, okay? Take care of yourself and ground yourself, allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to know love and kindness, bring it to yourself, okay? This is telling you to find that balance between your physical and your emotional. So let's see what's actually going on on the emotional level, on the emotional, spiritual, and mental level, and what's challenging you there. And this can help us to understand the physical challenge a bit more, it can help us to understand more about what you're going through and why you're experiencing these physical challenges in the way that you are, why you're dealing with them the way that you are. So what is your challenge on the emotional, mental, spiritual level for Friday, August 31st, 2018? You have the lovers. So exactly what this card is telling you to do that's what your trouble is, okay? You're having trouble listening to your heart. You're having trouble trusting your own emotional guidance, trusting your heart. If this has to do with a relationship or something, then you you might be questioning your relationship or you might be questioning the viability of a new relationship. There could be someone coming in since the lovers also represents a choice. There could be another person coming in, especially since we have these two here as well. It's possible you're you're struggling with choosing between two people. It's also possible you're struggling with choosing between two parts of yourself. Again, that mind and heart part. Um, they're kind of at war right now. Your mind is not listening to your heart. Your heart wants something that your mind is saying isn't feasible or isn't possible or isn't even remotely something that you think you want, but your heart is craving it and calling out to it. And they're at war right now and you're having a lot of trouble trusting your heart and trusting your emotions. So let's see how we can overcome this challenge. How can we overcome this lack of trust in ourselves, in our emotions, this war that we're dealing with internally between our heart and our mind. How can you overcome this? You have the hermit. 
and you have the Six of Swords. So this is telling you that you may need to take some time to yourself and to sit down and really, really feel whatever it is that's going on inside of you right now. Really take the time to open yourself up to these emotions and to allow them to flow through you. And do you see here where she's carrying these swords across a river or across a body of water? So this body of water is going to represent how you're feeling and your emotions. And these swords obviously represent the way that you're, you're thinking. You can change emotionally but if you don't let go of those swords, then you're still going to be in the same place you were on the other side of the river. Okay, you may have gone through emotional changes, but if you don't find some way to change the way you're thinking, to let your thoughts float away, then you're going to still, you're going to keep returning to this, this place of not being able to trust your heart and trust your emotions. So this, this is telling you that you need to let yourself let yourself face the unknown okay there may be darkness ahead for you and you need to allow yourself to be open to that and allow yourself to to really face that because if you're able to face that you will bring light to the situation you will be able to shine a light on your emotional problems and on what's bothering you right now and this will allow you to to be able to guide yourself forward okay if you're able to change emotionally and change the way you think and allow these this war to end that's inside of you this mind versus heart thing that's going on right now and just listen to your heart and let that guide you and don't don't you don't need to know everything except that you don't know everything and accept that that metamorphosis is coming for you then you're going to find your way out of this darkness you're going to find your way out of this this confusion that you've been dealing with you've been running from dealing with your problems you've been denying these problems when what you really need to do is get to know who you are get to know what they are and where they come from look at yourself with a completely unbiased open eye be honest with who you are and with your your own flaws you know look at your flaws look at your problems look at why you're feeling these emotional things that you're feeling if you're feeling sad a lot if you're feeling confused a lot like you don't know what life is about we have all been there okay the way out is by taking the time and reflecting on who you are, reflecting on your thoughts and your emotions and the way you think, and finding the way to allow that change to happen. Allow yourself to go into something, to go into this without knowing the full outcome. And when you do go into this, do it with kindness, do it with love, do it with care, but do it. Absolutely take that time with yourself, take that time to reconnect with your emotions, reconnect with your spirit. Let go of these old thoughts and these old behaviors that are no longer serving you. Let let what's inside, let your emotions guide you, okay? Let love be be the way you approach this problem, whatever it is. So let's see what your energy is to close out this day and this week. What is your energy? For the end of this day, for Friday, August 31st, 2018, thank you again for being here, for liking and subscribing, and if you want to get any updates, notifications when there are new videos, because they won't always be on social media, they'll just sometimes just be on YouTube, then go ahead and click that button and say hi in the comments, because it makes me feel all warm and soft inside. So how are you going to close out today? You have the Two of Cups. And you have the Empress. If you need to reach out to someone, do that. But whatever you do, allow these two warring parts of you 
to come together, okay? Allow yourself, again, to listen to your heart because I think that's what's been causing this problem. You've been so stuck in your mind, so focused on creating plans and strategies and taking specific steps that you've lost a part of yourself and you're not giving up that part of yourself the care and nurture that it deserves, okay? This Empress is telling you that you need to nurture yourself. You need to take care of yourself emotionally, okay? You need to fill your well with love and kindness. You need to honor yourself. And just as I said here, you need to make sure that you are balanced in this this activity, balanced in your mind and in your heart. Allow both of these sides of you to have a say, but don't, like, you, you've been ignoring the emotional side. You've been putting it aside for, for goals, putting it aside for work, putting it aside for, for your friends and family to put on a happy face if you've been dealing with depression or anything like that. You've just been kind of not allowing your emotions to speak not allowing them to guide you. You've been resisting them. A big reason why we tend to have seriously negative emotions and why they tend to hold on for so long is because we're resisting them. And instead of just letting them happen and letting them pass through and learning to understand where they're coming from and what they're trying to tell us, we are more focused on taking medication to try to get rid of them or doing everything so that we can ignore and forget these problems instead of just dealing with them and facing them head on. That is what you need to do right now and facing it doesn't have to be a hard thing, okay? Again, just take some time to yourself. Take some time to, to understand yourself and understand where these emotions are coming from so that you are able to find balance and able to take care of yourself, all right? You need to, at the end of this day, take some time to give yourself nurture. Take some time, connect with people if you must, but you don't have to. You can always just take care of yourself and allow these parts of you, your mind and your heart, to come together, to work together so that you are not feeling this disconnect, so you're not feeling this confusion or this feeling of lost, okay? You are so close to finding, to making a breakthrough, but you do need to take that time. You do need to take care of yourself and nurture yourself, offer yourself this emotional support. Even if it comes from nowhere else, give it to yourself allow these parts of you to reconcile so that you can move forward in a more balanced and healthy nature and again so that you can eventually move on to bigger and better things and find more growth and more health and more healing all right that's your reading for friday august 31st 2018 thank you a thousand times for joining me i know i've said that enough during this reading but it really means a lot for that everybody has been coming um and it just, it just means a lot. All the things, all the nice things that I get in my inbox or get text messages from, mostly from friends, but it's still super great. So thank you all. Have a beautiful, a wonderful, amazing weekend. I will see you next week and we will be in September. It's almost a whole new month. So start anew, start fresh, allow yourself to take, to be taken care of, to be nurtured and to to relax if you need to pull away from people allow yourself to do that take this time this this transition into a new month to to allow yourself to start start growing again and start healing from whatever it is you need healing thank you and remember always that i love you bye